Hey everybody, welcome to my tea channel. My name is Marcy and I'm here to go through my empties box. I This is my second tea empties video. My first one, um, you can, I'll link in the comments below. I had a ton of samples in that one. This one is also a lot of samples. Um, I think this is about two months worth of tea. Of course I drink way more than this, but I didn't finish them. Um, so this is just my empties. So I'm gonna go ahead and dive right in with something a little unusual. This is a um, hard kombucha by Flying Embers. Um, every once in a while I like to try the hard kombucha from the store I, in hopes that I will like it. Now this one, um, it's USDA organic. This is berry with raspberry, elderberry, and goji. Um, I did like the flavor of this one, but my problem with these um, store-bought kombucha, hard kombuchas, is that I get a headache after drinking them. So I'm not sure what about them causes that, but it's kind of like a, basically a hangover from it. So unfortunately I did experience that with this one, so the flavor of it is kind of pointless because I will not be purchasing this again. Um, it's too bad because I did like the ingredients. Kombucha culture, water, sugar, black tea, adaptogen root blend, ginger and turmeric, elderberry, strawberry, cherry, raspberry, goji, and probiotic culture. Um, so looking at the ingredients, I don't know what about it gave me a headache, but I um, instead I will make my own kombucha ritas is kind of what I call them. I use um, my own homebrew kombucha and then um, I add ginger and lemon during the second ferment, um, which I did a, another video about. I can link that in the comments too. Um, and then I will add tequila and um, ice and fresh squeezed lime. So that's my kombucha Rita and I love those and those do not give me a headache. So I think I'll just stick with that. All right, up next, um, I just had this last night. It's from Snarky Tea. Um, my best friend got me this um, little sampler kit from Snarky. I really love their packaging. The names of their tea are obviously hilarious. Really brightens my day. Um, just the packaging and the names. This was a um, chamomile, lemon, chamomile, lemongrass, and lavender, and it was good. All right, I'm gonna go through what I have from Sipology empties. Um, this is the Puer S'mores. I love, love this one. I will definitely be repurchasing, the, repurchasing this at some point in the future. It is just um, so good. I'm looking for the ingredients on here. Hmm. Here we go. Puer tea, cocoa bean pieces, orange peels, and natural flavors. Oh my gosh. I really enjoyed this. I'm, I'm very sensitive to caffeine, and I found that I... Um, this does not hit my body in the same way um, as black tea. So that is outstanding. So that's that one. Also from Sipology by Steep Tea, I finished up this green tea mojito, which was um, green tea, spearmint leaves, dried lemon, and dried orange peel. Um, this iced was fantastic. Um, I love the, the spearmint, the lemon, the orange peel. Really good. Um, I tried it hot just for fun and the citrus was way too bright for me when I was drinking it hot. I just, I like citrus flavors, but it just overwhelmed the entire tea. Um, but iced, really good. Um, this is a, oh, I forgot I finished this one. Um, this is a bubbly tea um, by Steep Tea as well. And this was the pineapple punch. Um, I also did a video about um, the more detail about this. I'll link that in the comments below as well. Um, I enjoyed this one. It um, was pineapple pieces um, with pineapple sugar citric acid, mango pieces with mango sugar citric acid, basil seeds, banana, matcha, and natural flavors. Um, so it was like basically like a matcha fruit punch with the fruit pieces and basil seeds. Really enjoyed it. Iced. Um, I already have another order on the way. I got more mango bubbly tea. Okay, digging into the samples here. I'm going to try to go through these pretty quick so I don't have a too long of a video. I had two of these um, Yogi Tea Kava Stress Relief. 
just trying to finish these up. They're from my stash from a while ago. Um, I have three of these Numi Emperor's Puer tea. I really like this one. It is very strong. So I find I have to steep it for a shorter time and I can definitely get two or three re-steeps with it, which is awesome. Um, the Sipology um, Puer, I also do at least a second re-steep, um, but I find it's not as bold. So, um, which I like, I don't, I don't like extremely bold tea flavors. Okay. Let's see. Oh, a fourth, um, emperors. Um, I like those in pre-bagged when I'm having a rough morning and I just want to just get it in my system. I don't want to deal with finding my diffuser and whatever. Um, next up, I went through some, um, samples from Tiesta Tea, three of them. Maui Mango. Um, I did this all iced. This is uh, pineapple, orange slices, mango, natural flavors, safflowers, hibiscus, strawberries, and marigolds. This one was fantastic, iced. Um, I did get a little tip from um, Stephanie at Tea Leaf Project to make the hibiscus be mellow enough. If you're not paying attention, the hibiscus will overpower everything. So set a timer and only steep for five minutes before... Um, taking out the tea and um, putting it over ice or letting it cool and then doing ice. So I really enjoyed this one. I would definitely do that again for a summer tea. Um, the Fruity Pebbles, I really liked this one too. It was so good. Um, this is the green tea, pineapple, black tea, mango, natural flavors, rose petals, raspberry bits, and strawberries. This is basically green tea with just an undertone of fruitiness and floral. Man, it was really good. Um, I The first time I had it, I was a little nervous that it was going to be too green tea, like too grassy. So I added a, less than a teaspoon of sugar um, to about uh, four cups of, of tea. And the fruitiness was super strong, um, which wasn't bad. I mean, if you're in the mood for that. So the next time I made it iced... Um, I did not add any sugar and I loved it without sugar. It just, the fruitiness was there. It was present, but it wasn't like the first thing. It was, it was a really good balance. So I, I would do this one again too. Um, I don't remember if I tried it hot, but it was good. Um, strawberry lemonade. This is another one I did primarily iced. And the second ingredient is hibiscus. It's pineapple, hibiscus, rose hip, lemon balm, lemon bits, strawberry bits, um, and natural flavors. Uh, the first couple times I did this, the hibiscus was just way too freaking strong. Then I used um, the tip to only steep for five minutes when making it iced, and um, I really enjoyed it. The strawberry notes are definitely an, an afterthought, um, but you can get hints of them. So it was good. Probably not going to repurchase that one. Okay, moving on. I had one... Um, Package of Twinings Lady Grey Black Tea. I wanted to try this just because everybody in the tea community goes on and on and on about um, Lady Grey. And uh, I am just haven't quite developed the, my palate for Earl Grey's. So, you know, it was good. I, I drank it, but um, it's just not, not my favorite tea. And we all have our own, you know, preferences, right? Which is what makes tea so fun. Um, I had been given this in like a, like a little holiday gift set or something. So that was the only one I had. Um, this happy tea was from a sip spy box. I, I think this is my last one of it. Um, it has like no flavor. I don't know what the deal with it is. It's a black tea with a mix of other fruits and stuff. And I'm not sure if it's just a bad batch or what, but I went ahead and mixed it with another tea just to use it up, and it was fine that way. Um, I had a Kusa um, peach green tea. This is good. It's very, very heavy on the green tea with um, peach undertones. So, it's, I mean, it's good, but it's a little too green to me. And I have more than once, not every time, accidentally gotten, like, not stirred it well enough and gotten, like, a little clump of... Um, powder like in my mouth when I'm drinking it and it's just like Bleh! it's not a good thing so you know lots of people love these 
not not my favorite. Um, I ordered the four free samples from Adagio, my first time with Adagio. Um, there's a limited selection of which samples you can pick from, and I didn't give it too much thought. I just kind of went in and grabbed it. Um, the Coconut Grove Huchong. Um, I wanted to try a coconut tea because I couldn't remember having one before. Yuck. <laughs> um, I brewed this up following the instructions, and the smell of it was just not good. Um, the coconut was way too strong for me. Um, not good. I tried it again once it had cooled down, and so the smell wasn't so in your face. And I could drink it okay, like, once it was room temperature, so maybe it would be all right iced. I don't know. Not my favorite. Um, and then I had a honey nut um, banana or honey bush banana nut sample from Adagio as well. And this was honey bush tea, apple pieces, cinnamon, cocoa nibs, natural banana flavor, and natural chestnut flavor, and marigold flowers. This was a thumbs down for me. Um, yes, it tasted just like banana nut bread, but it was like kapow in your face banana nut bread. To me, that just felt very artificial, and I did not enjoy it, unfortunately. Um... I did get another order from Adagio anyway. I didn't let my these two samples negatively um, dissuade me from ordering more. Um, I got their rooibos pumpkin chai, or it's honeybush pumpkin chai, and it was good. So, um, but I still have more of it. That's why you're not seeing it in this empties video. So, um, oh, I have a... Oh, uh, I didn't drink this. My husband did a Kusa dark roast coffee sample. He, he said it was good, but I mean, he'll drink anything. From T2, um, I think I have one or two of these left, but the box is empty. This was, um, I got from the summer sale. It's a sampler pack. Um, it has been fun to go through and try. So that is empty. And that's it for my empties video. Let me know if you have any questions on any of the teas that I mentioned. And thank you so much for watching. Bye everybody.